What you see on your screen right now, three fairly typical light switches. Hi, welcome to our channel, all about home electronics. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the steps, how to install a smart light switch. That's the light switch we're going to replace. It controls a light in the ceiling. Only one switch in this building controls this particular light. We need three tools, a Phillips head, flat head, and some wire snips. Also, you might want to buy a larger electrical connector, but you won't know that until you open up your faceplate. Here is the box of the smart light switch we will be using. This smart light switch requires a hub. The side of the package does not list every hub that this switch is compatible with. It is compatible with ADT Pulse, Honeywell, Fibrero, Wink, Nexia, Samsung SmartThings, HomeSeer, Vivint, Train, Vera, Iris. We recommend you hire a professional electrician to install the light switch for you. Our first step is to turn off the breaker. Remove the faceplate by removing the faceplate screws. In order to remove the light switch, we have to remove the top mounting screw and the bottom mounting screw. In our example, because we're working on what we call a three-gang electrical box, we've decided we're going to remove this light switch and this one from the box itself, just to give us more room from which to work. First, I'm going to take these neutrals that have been tied together, and I'm going to tie in the white neutral jumper that comes in the box. I'm going to remove my yellow wire connector, and here's the jumper that comes in the box. It's pre-stripped. There's a short end and a long end. I'm going to take the long end and wrap it around the bare copper. And I see that I need to shorten it. Earlier I mentioned possibly picking up a larger electrical connector, and I'm going to need that because I'm adding an additional wire. Now I'm going to connect the other end of this neutral to my brand new smart light switch. It says neutral right here at the tip of my finger. I insert it in that small hole and then tighten that Phillips screw. On the back of my smart light switch, it says where I tie in my ground wire. That's the bare copper wire. I'm going to remove that from the switch that I'm taking out, and I'm going to hook it to this Phillips screw on the smart light switch that I'm installing. One thing to point out, now that we have the ground wire attached to our new smart light switch, we want to make sure that the position of the switch is correct. So on the old switches, if the switch was in the up position, that would be on. In this case, the ground wire marks the top of the switch. On is up and off is down. 
Next, we're going to connect the load. This is the actual light that we're trying to control. This single wire out of the switch that we're replacing goes to our load, our light. Now we insert that wire into the hole labeled load for our light and tighten the screw. Last, we only have two wires left on the switch that we're replacing and these are called the line. So in other words, the hot electrical coming into the switch passes through the switch, out of the switch, into the next switch. So technically it's one wire, but we got to make both connections on the new switch. One thing I'm doing is I'm making sure that my wires are all untangled before I install the line. We've connected the ground, our load, which is the light, the line, which is our hot electrical coming in, and the neutral. Now we need to put everything back into the box, which is just the reverse of what we did when we took it out. We took some time to make sure that all three switches are flush with the wall and they're vertically straight. Now put the plate back on and once you complete this turn your breaker back on. Now that the faceplate is on this concludes the video how to install a smart light switch. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below the video. Here are a few video links we hope you might find useful. If you liked this video or it helped you, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe free to our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.